All right, right now, go to your pantry, grab a can of your favorite beer, grab some ground meat, ideally from your refrigerator. Because if it was in your pantry, we have a whole other set of issues we need to talk about. And you can make your own beer can burgers for your 4th of July cookouts. Actually, it could be any kind of a can. Claudine Guy is the owner of the Magic Spoon Catering. She's here to show us how to make beer can burgers. And actually, you can drink the whole can of beer. You don't have to Absolutely. put any beer in the burger. There is no beer in the burger, so everybody can have it. I'm in. Okay. We're going to use our, our can for our mold. And what I did is I just have a piece of saran wrap, and I'm going to wrap up that can because then now you can use it and you won't have greasy <laughs> That's true. Nothing fingers. like taking a, a sip of Diet Coke that's been caked in right. uh, you know, ground meat fat. <laughs> so what I have here is I have two pounds of ground meat. Meat. This is enough for four or five hamburgers, depending on how big you want it. Uh, the key of making a good hamburger is seasoning the meat beforehand. Uh, so what we're going to do is I've got some of my uh, grandpa's grub rub, which is one of my in-house seasoning blends that I make. Cool. And we're going to pour that in, and that's got paprika in it and some chili and some salt. Okay. Oh, so you, you're not putting it on the surface. You're going to mix it all I'm gonna in. I'm going to mix it all in, yeah. Nice. Okay. So we'll get all that flavors about. And also, this is helping co to compress the meat as well. Right. So. And so then you're going to make your patties. And this is. Yeah, we're going to make a ball. So you're going to. I'm so intrigued because I, I didn't do any research before the segment just so that I could be surprised. Because right. how, how does the can come into play right now? So, <laughs> so the, I know they're big, but don't forget the hamburger will shrink and stuff like yes. that too. So we're gonna do. So these are about eight ounces. I'm not complaining. I'm hungry. These are eight ounces. Good. Six ounces mm -hmm. works really good too. So, and this is good. It's definitely good to wear gloves. Yep. All right. So we've got four burgers, and this would be great for a party too. So if you're having guests over, pre-make uh, the shells, the the burger shells, and have all your toppings all set up. We've got uh, raw onions, we've got roasted red peppers, we've got bacon, we've got hot cherry peppers, gorgonzola, roasted garlic, Swiss cheese, olives. Ooh, so you sky's the limit. Absolutely. Ooh. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our can now, finally, okay. and push it in to the beef, and we're going to kind of make a cup out of it. And you're just going to make sure it's nice and solid, and we're going to pack it around. Right, so you're making like a little like a dream come true, a, a beef cup. Crust, a, a beef yeah. cup. There a you beef go. Cup. So now we've got this great cup. Oh. And we're gonna set it aside. And now you can start filling them. I'll keep on making the cups and no problem. And you All right. pick out the different toppings that first, you Ash. want. We've got the gorgonzola cheese and the onions and the bacon. Um, I know what I'm doing. You can get some pulled pork or some chili and some cheddar cheese. How did how does this cook? Uh, it seems because it seems like there's various uh, varying degrees of thickness to the burger. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cook this low and slow on okay. the grill. So you don't want this a hot burger like you normally would cook. Like you would do like three or four minutes on a regular burger each size. But for this here, we're gonna do it a little bit slower. Um, and I did this on a grill plate. I did a, a sample one that we'll show later, a little bit later on at work. And I actually put like a, a, a metal pot over the top of it oh. um, and, and put a little water on the pan and let it steam so it'll cook all the way throughout. Ooh, so pretty nice. much sky is the limit. I mean, if you want to get creative and you have some uh, full sheets, of, uh, strips of bacon, wrap it around the side of it. Oh, fancy. Well, yes. You are talking my language, friend. So, I mean, this is a nice way if you're going to have guests over, let them make their own. Have all the toppings, pre-make and refrigerate all your little burger cups here. And then get some um, toothpicks, some wide toothpicks, or um, a uh, popsicle stick, and have them write their name on it and stick it in the center of the burger. And then everybody's made their own, and you can just, you know, get the part. You know, one time everybody's ready, and everybody has exactly what they want for a burger. Now, Ashley, um, you realize both of us have made burgers that is going to make it very difficult to talk to our guests for the rest of the show because <laughs> yes. our, our breath's going to smell terrible. So maybe we should wait. Eat them a little bit later. Yeah, I put some roasted red peppers, onions, garlic, and Swiss cheese in mine. Bacon yeah. blue cheeseburger for me, a classic. Absolutely. But goody. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, how does one go up? Are we low and slow? Do we fold it in? No, nope. you're going to cook it like this. Uh, you're just going to put them on the grill as is, and then you're just going to keep them. You don't want, like, like I said, the direct heat. So, it's going to mm -hmm. take about 25 minutes for these to cook at about 350 on the grill. Sounds great. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you can bake them in the oven too if you don't have a grill. So it's just a it's just a great way to have all your flavor in your burger at once. I'm in. Oh, my tummy's rumbling. <laughs> I think it's I heard great, it. Claudine. Thanks Thank you. so well, much. We're gonna let you keep working, and we're gonna finish up a little bit later in the show. Also.